Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to install, how to download and what is actually meant by Windows Server 2016 which is an upcoming future operating system by Microsoft Corporation USA. Now before we go with the installation, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding Windows Server 2016. Now before I start you can say telling you about Windows Server 2016, let me first of all make you aware that it is not the final release which I am going to use in this video to install Windows Server 2016 on VirtualBox. It is just a technical preview version 4 which is being available free of cost on the Microsoft website so that you can download and test and it is available into beta stage which means it is not the final product. Might be the final product will be different from the today which we are going to download and install but you have to wait till it is expected in quarter 3 2016. So let us start regarding the awareness regarding Windows Server 2016, what is this all about and what are its cool features which Microsoft is going to give us in the quarter 3 of this year itself. Microsoft Windows Server 2016 is an upcoming server operating system developed by Microsoft as a part of Windows NT family of operating systems developed concurrently from with Windows 10 which means we have Windows clients like we have Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10 and it is going to be the belonging part of Windows Server family like we have Windows Server 2003 which is now outdated, Windows Server 2008, 2012 and now we are going to welcome 2016 also. The first early preview was available on October 1, 2014 and today you can say the technical preview 4 is available. So technical preview 4 was available on November 19, 2015 about 3 months ago and the update method is Windows Update, Windows Server Update Services, SCCM and the available platform is only 64-bit. Now we know that what is actually meant by Windows Server 2016. This is the main website which I would like to share that is microsoft.com slash en hyphen in which is available for English India server hyphen cloud products hyphen Windows Server 2016. The link will be available downstairs of the video. So you can uh, find all the benefits about the current generations or everything which, which is uh, defined in, by Microsoft Windows Server 2016 on this website. So let us first of all go with some cool features and then I will be telling you how to download and then we will be coming with the installation part on VirtualBox of Windows Server 2016. Regarding the features, Windows Server 2016 has a variety of new features including number one, Active Directory Federation Services. It is possible to configure ADFS to authenticate user store in non-AD directories such as X.500 compliant lightweight directory access protocol directories and SQL databases. Number two, Windows Defender. Now we know that Windows Defender is one of the security tool or you can say the firewall which is available to protect against all the threats etc. So it is available by default but without the GUI. The third thing, remote desktop services that is support for OpenGL 4.4 and OpenCL 1.1 for best performance and stability. The next point that is number four is storage services, central storage QS policy, storage replicas and storage replica replicates block instead of files. Number five, failover clustering that is cluster operating system rolling upgrade storage replicas. Number six, web application proxy pre-authentication for HTTP basic application publishing wildcard domain HTTP to HTTPS redirection. Number seven which is very important that is IIS Windows web server which is available for IIS version 2 and it will be supporting HTTP version 2 that is oblique 2. Number 8 that is Windows PowerShell 5.0 and soft restart which means uh, the windows will be speeding up the, uh, up the updating process. But the most important is that the telnet server is not included. So if we talk of the network services it will be having the same services like we have in server like DHCP, DNS, Windows Server Gateway, Network Controller and of course Hyper 5. So you can say that this is also becoming the very good server and Microsoft you are being led by Satya Nadella putting the server and the system center teams together to make the server much better for you to release and to get it. And from Hyper-V to contain to nano servers the latest operating server will incorporate modern app development principles also. So this is the main website which you can use which I can open and if you want to download you just go to this link and click on this uh, word that is called download. You have to sign in with the, your live ID and after that you can download which I have already downloaded. So let me give you the main thing over there. So this is the basic ISO which I will be available. So right click on this and click on properties. It will be available for about 5 GB 4.62 GB. 
so it's a heavy operating system make it sure that you can download with a good decent broadband connection so let us without wasting time let us go to oracle vmware virtualbox and let us start with the installation part of windows server 2016 so let us click on this new and let me tell you that Oracle VMware VirtualBox doesn't even right now currently as such supports Windows Server 2016 but we will be not finding any problem because Windows Server 2016 is as such right now is not a final product it is available for only technical preview but we will be doing the full installation again when the final release will be there by Microsoft so Windows Server 2016 so you can see Microsoft Windows so let us click on this thing that is other Windows 64 bit so you can see that as such Windows Server 2016 is not available under this drop and down menu so other Windows 64 bit will give you the best platform so click on next so for the RAM it is available that is 512 MB so it is better that you allocate at least 2 GB of RAM that is 2048 for better performance but still heavy RAM will be required so 2048 will right now is enough for me because I'm using core i7 processor so click on next so let us click create next so what I recommend is to at least allocate 30 GB of hard disk drive so 40 GB will be good but 30 GB is good enough for us so click on create and now you can see that it has created all these settings so let us click on the link that is start So now let us browse over here and now let me go to the desktop part so let me browse this so you can see that the Windows release server has already been done so click on start so let us click on view and full screen mode and now you can see that Windows Server 2016 installation has started and the cool Windows logo has come so which means that even though that uh, Oracle VirtualBox has not officially supported but still we can install Windows Server 2016 so I'm using the technical preview 3 so technical preview 4 you can also download so I uh, because I've downloaded about 10 to 15 days back so I've got technical preview 3 but there will be no uh, just a hinge differences between 2016 technical preview 3 and technical preview 4 so click on next and click on install now click on install now So now you can see that the setup has started and uh, believe me everyone that the setup will be available like we have already done the setup of Windows Server 2008 and Windows Server 2012. So now you can see that there are two options which is available that is Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 3 and Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 3 with Server with Desktop. So click on this Server with Desktop. So click on Next so that you will be able to have the GUI interface of the Windows when you get the installation part. So click on Next and now this is the license term so I just skip it so because I don't require so click on I accept the license terms and click on next so now you are available with two options that is upgrade and custom so click on this custom and now you can find that the disk drive 0 has unallocated space that is 30 GB so because I am only giving you the demonstration part so I will be making only one partition that is C drive so if you want to make uh, two or three partition you can make D or E or F so I just click on new so I click on apply and click on OK so now you can see that only one partition has come and 500 MB is reserved for system so what you have to do is to just click on next and now you can see that the Windows has started installing and it will be taking about 15 to 20 minutes to install and till it install let me pause the video so now you can see that it has uh, finished almost everything and it is installing some updates and finishing up so very soon we will be rebooting our system and we will be coming back with the main GUI of the Windows. So now it is saying that restarting in 8 seconds. So let us click on this restart now. So I don't have to boot because the Windows has already been installed on the hard disk drive. So now you can see it has started with the logo and it has started booting up and believe me that it has taken me about uh, five to ten minutes and not much time so depending on the speed it can take up to five to seven minutes or about 10 to 15 minutes or about 15 to 20 minutes but not taking more than 20 minutes so I what I recommend is to have a decent processor with a good RAM and a good speed of hard disk drive so it will be not giving you any trouble towards installation and giving you the fast boot and believe me Microsoft has this time claimed a very good thing that they have given this a very faster boot time and believe me it is having a very good faster boot time
So let's wait and let us see the graphical interface. So you can see that uh, like we installed Windows 10 or Windows 8.1, it is having the same, you can say, everything over there. So it is getting the devices ready. So almost we are there. We just have to wait for some more time. And we will log in with the administrator account. Yes. So I think so that the boot has finished and the cursor has come. And very soon we will be, uh, I will be making some videos on making this as a pure domain controller, adding Windows 10 or Windows 7 as its client, uh, how to make it as a DHCP server, IIS web server. So everything we will be covering up in the coming videos. Like we cover of Windows 2008 or 2012 in my other videos. So it has restarted again. So I think so that uh, it has updated some devices, but now let us see that how much it will uh, take some more time. So now you can see that uh, we have got the customization settings and the username is default that is administrator. So let me give the password, a strong password. Okay, so let us finish this. So it is finalizing our settings and uh, very soon we will be seeing the server manager, I think so it will be there and the front end GUI interface which will be looking like Windows 10. It will be having server capabilities, but it is built on Windows 10. So it is taking some time. So till then it, it is finalized, let me pause the video for some time. So now we can see that the front end interface has come. So let us go with this and let us go with this input keyboard, insert control alt del. So now you can see that the administrator interface has come. So let me give the word. So let me give the password now. Okay. Yes. So let me click on view full screen. So now you can see that the same Windows 10 wallpaper like interface is there and it is saying Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 3 Evaluation Copy Build 10514 and Server Manager is starting up. We have to wait because actually I have already allocated 2 GB of RAM but I think so that 2 GB of RAM will not give it a proper interface and proper performance so I recommend to give it at least 4 GB of RAM. So uh, let us uh, don't wait for the server manager. 
So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install uh, Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 3. You can follow the same procedure like we have the Technical Preview 4. So do give it a shot and now uh, I hope so that you like the video. Thank you so much.